Who wouldn't want to get paid to go shopping? But is the explosion of ads for mystery shoppers and secret shoppers that promise easy money and free meals and merchandise on the level or just a scam? John Swinburne, director of the Mystery Shopper Providers Association, says unfortunately some companies and individuals are exploiting the sudden popularity of mystery shopping to take advantage of people. What exactly is mystery shopping? Mystery shoppers are ordinary people, independent contractors, who anonymously visit stores and restaurants to gather customer service data for management and ownership. These stores want to know how clean the bathrooms are and whether store clerks are courteous and helpful. Many ads promise as much as $50 an hour and free merchandise. It all sounds a lot more glamorous than it is. For starters, Swinburne says mystery shopping is not just a day at the mall. Not just anyone is qualified. Some basic skills are necessary, and shoppers have to be able to follow explicit directions and gather the data the client has requested. Many companies have been in the mystery shopping business for a long time, but only recently have begun advertising for mystery shoppers as the industry has begun to grow. But many of the ads you see on the Internet make big promises and make it sound like it's easy money. Not only that, some ads promise mystery shoppers they can make big money while keeping some of the high-priced merchandise they purchase while shopping. Many times these companies require shoppers to pay an upfront fee, a sure sign that alarm bells should go off. Swinburne says companies that charge fees to shoppers are not allowed to join his association. Members must agree to and live by a strict code of ethics. If mystery shopping advertising seems too good to be true, Swinburne says it probably is. So mystery buyers, beware. Mark Huffman, ConsumerAffairs.com.